Uh, we're just uh, about to proceed with uh, giving a cover of 12 and a half millimetres uh, to the 300 by 100 um, test uh, pieces uh, for bond strength. Uh, so uh, Jake's just going to bang the mixture on the table. That's the consistency of the mixer mix and he'll just cut it up uh, into four pieces uh, and then uh, wait for the material to gel. Um, it's important that the material does gel before we actually apply it to the concrete pieces in the tank. Uh, thank you. Um, it's just about uh, 10 minutes after mixing at the moment. Uh, we have to wait until the material gels quite strongly before application. It's not quite ready to apply just yet. Uh, the temperature here at the moment is about 5 degrees centigrade, so uh, it's taken a little bit longer to gel and stiffen, but at 20 degrees centigrade, which you think it's going to be the ambient temperature offshore, when we actually do the repairs, uh, the material will go off uh, a lot quicker at uh, higher temperatures. So we just have to wait and see um, till we, um, in fact, um, obtain the consistency we want for application. Uh, thank you. Um, we're just going to apply the underwater mortar to the, the samples uh, for abrasion tests underwater. Um, the mortar now has gelled quite nicely. You don't want to work too much, uh, otherwise it'll ungel. And then we just apply it underwater, pushing it right into the not overworking it too much. There is some dispersion going on but pushing it onto that concrete substrate good and firm pushing it into place 100% contact is 100% bond Feel your way underwater. Just a little bit more. Just a touch more at the bottom. We can just show you at the moment how it's going. Mostly intact, just needs a little bit more work done on the top there. Thank you. Almost there at the moment on this piece. surface and uh, what we'll do we'll just finish off the water on the surface
Thank you. We're just going to put the sample back in the tank. We don't think we can get the finish uh, for the tests finishing underwater. With a second uh, sample here, decided to actually shape the putty on the surface, making pancakes rather than balls, and that just goes on underwater. Just working it into that surface, as you can see, and uh, forming the next pancake in there. There will be some dispersion. Perhaps we should have let it gel a little bit more, I wonder. All to do with technique and this second piece here. We'll just put in that top surface. Working it in that top surface with a gloved hand. And again, just pushing it onto that top surface. It's a little bit light. Just trying to finish it off now with a gloved hand. Let's see how we're doing. There it is, applied underwater. But we have to finish it on the surface. As you can see. Nice smooth surface.